you have joined us here at Brady Lane Church. My name is Jeff Keller. I am the uh, new senior minister here, so I've got to meet several of you tonight, but we wanted to welcome you here tonight. We're so happy to be meeting together with uh, Elmer, Elmwood Church of Christ and West Lafayette Christian Church and Crossroads Christian Church. And it's so neat that we can come together and worship and remember the sacrifice of our Savior together uh, as a unified group of believers. And uh, we're all going to be together someday, right? Yeah. And uh, so it's just only natural and good that we can come together and worship together like this tonight. We welcome you here this evening. We're going to be singing some hymns and some choruses. You're going to recognize all of them, I promise. And uh, some of the hymns might be a little bit of a different arrangement than what you're used to. Uh, we're also going to have an acapella song at the end of the service. So we just want to encourage you to worship God tonight. And uh, we hope that together we can glorify His Son, Jesus Christ. If you would pray with me, and then we'll begin our worship and song. Father God, we just are so grateful for you to be in our midst this evening. We are so happy to be with all of our brothers and sisters in Christ that, that we don't maybe get to see on a Sunday morning, but to know that there are others out there that encourages us and, and bolsters us in our decision, in our heart to follow you. Father God, as we worship you tonight, just help us to stay focused on the purpose for me, to remember the sacrifice of your son, Jesus, all that he gave for us so that we can be with you. You loved us so much that you gave your only son, and we rejoice and celebrate in that together tonight. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
From John, the 13th chapter, reading from the version called The Voice. Before the Passover festival began, Jesus was keenly aware that his hour had come to depart from this world and return to the Father. From the beginning to end, Jesus' days were marked by his love for his people. Before Jesus and his disciples gathered for dinner, the adversary filled Judas Iscariot's heart with plans of deceit and betrayal. Jesus, knowing that he had come from God and was going away to God, stood up from dinner and removed his outer garments, and then he wrapped himself in a towel, poured water in a basin, and began to wash the feet of the disciples, drying them with his towel. Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Peter, if you don't realize what I am doing, but you will understand it later, you will not wash my feet. Now or ever, if I don't wash you, then you will have nothing to do with me. Then wash me, but don't stop with my feet. Cleanse my hands and my head as well. Listen, anyone who has bathed is clean all over except for the feet. But I tell you this, not all of you are clean. He knew the one with plans of betraying him, which is why he said not all of you are clean. Do you understand what I have done for you? You call me teacher and Lord, and truly that is who I am. So if your Lord and teacher washes your feet, then you should wash one another's feet. I am your example for you to keep doing so. I tell you the truth, a servant is not greater than his master. Those who are sent are not greater than the one who sends him. If you know these things, if you put them into practice, you will find happiness. I'm not speaking about all of you. I know whom I have chosen, but let the Hebrew Scripture be fulfilled that says, The very same man who eats my bread with me will stab me in the back. Assuredly, I tell you these truths before they happen, so that when it all transpires, you will believe that I am. I tell you the truth. Anyone who accepts the ones I send accepts me. In turn, the ones who accept me also accept the ones who sent me. If our servers would please come forward at this time. And if you all would please bow with me as we pray. <clears throat> Father God, as we look upon the scriptures and we read this passage in which Jesus begins the supper by becoming the lowest servant of the house. Showing what Christianity and what leadership and what service is all about. He displayed for his disciples' love by stooping down and washing their feet. Father, help us now as we come around this table. Put aside anything that might be distracting us. Help us to serve one another as we pass these trays down the aisle, just as Jesus would have served us. Father, we remember your son today and his sacrifice. <clears throat> By observing his communion. These things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Please hold the emblems and we will partake them together. <clears throat>
Matthew chapter 26, starting verse 21, Jesus' words, I tell you this, one of you here will betray me. The disciples, of course, were horrified, not me. It's not me, Master, is it? said another. And Jesus replied, it is the one who shared this dish of food with me. That is the one who will betray me, just as our sacred scripture has taught. The Son of Man is on his way. But there will be nothing but misery for he who hands him over. That man will wish he had never been born. At that, Judas, who was indeed planning to betray him, said, It's not me, Master, is it? I believe you've just answered your own question. As they were eating, Jesus took some bread. He offered a blessing over the bread, and he broke it and gave it to his disciples, and he said, Take this and eat it. It is my body. Please partake. And then he took a cup of wine, he made a blessing over it, and he passed it around the table. Take and drink, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. But I tell you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine again until I am with you once more, drinking it in my Father's kingdom. The meal concluded. Together, all the men sang a hymn of praise and thanksgiving. <clears throat> And then they took a late evening walk at the Mount of Olives.
not asking solely for their benefit. This prayer is also for all the believers who will follow them and who will hear them speak. Father, may they all be one. As you are in me and I am in you, may they be in us. For by this unity, the world will believe in your sin. All the glory that you